Hepatitis C is a major problem in the United States and really around the world. More people are dying of hepatitis C in this country than of HIV. I think many people don't hear about what hepatitis C even is and how you can get it. So hepatitis C is just a virus. It doesn't do a whole lot other than want to live in your liver and make more copies of itself. So the word hepatitis has to do with HEPA, which is the liver, anything having to do with the liver, itis, which means irritated or diseased. And we know that there are different viruses that once they're in the body, their home base is the liver. The primary viruses we see in this country are hepatitis A, hepatitis B, and hepatitis C. So anytime someone was exposed to someone else's blood, and that could happen through blood transfusions before 92, organ transplantation before screening, people on dialysis, people with hemophilia, as well as people who inject drugs. All were identified as high-risk populations, as were people living with HIV, because many of the same modes of transmission for HIV are also true for hepatitis C. Their immune system tries to fight it, and this battle goes on in a very silent way in their liver for 10, 20, 30, 40 years. And it may also be causing other problems. Hepatitis C is linked to things like the development of uh, type 2 diabetes, as well as lymphomas and kidney disease. But what happens to some people is over time, their livers scar, leading to cirrhosis. But it's only at that stage, when the liver can no longer function, that symptoms become obvious. When you're having all that itching, mm -hmm. that's because your liver was acting up. I had no symptoms. It didn't affect anything that I was doing. So I didn't respond to it. And once you get cirrhosis, your liver can stop working. And the idea and right is, if you don't know you have it, you can't get the treatment and you can't be cured.